Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n to the power of 3 over 2 equals 5 to the power of 3 over 2. We are solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So, you can start by factoring out 3 here. And we also have 3 here, we can factor that out. So, we have n power, this is 3 times 1 over 2 equals 5 to the power of, this is 3 times 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n raised to the power of n. And also, it equals a power n raised to the power of n. So let's apply this in order to change the powers. So we have n power a 1 over 2 come inside. And this is raised to the power of 3. Equals, we have 5 to the power of 1 over 2 again and the 3 comes outside. Now, if you have x power 1 over 2, this equals the square root of x. So, applying that here, this will give us square root of n raised to the power of 3, and this equals square root of 5 raised to the power of 3. So, we move this over here. We have square root of n raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So from here, if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And from here, my a is square root of n, and my b is square root of 5. So let's apply these two values for m, b. So we have, this is square root of n minus square root of 5 times square root of n, which is the power of 2, plus square root of n times square root of 5, plus square root of 5, raised to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, I will simply have square root of n minus square root of 5, times this cancel this, I have n plus this times this, this is square root of 5n, right? Or that will be n times 5, that is 5n, plus this cancel this, I have 5 here, and this equals 0. So from here, I will equate each of these to 0. Of square root of n minus square root of 5 equals 0. I have n plus square root of 5n plus 5 equals 0. So let's solve each of these equations. Now to solve this one here, I will move this over here. So we have square root of n equals square root of 5. So this cancel this. Of n equals 5. That is my n1. Now to solve this other one here, I'll move this over here and move this over here as well. So what I'm going to have will be, I'll have square root of 5n equals this is negative 5 minus n. So to solve for n, I need to take the squares of put part of this equation. So this cancel this. I have 5n equals negative 5 minus n times negative 5 minus n because it's raised to the power of 2. So from here, I have 5n equals this times this. This is 25, this times this. This is plus 5n, this times this. Plus another 5n, plus this times this. We have n squared. So from here, I have 5n equals 25, plus 10n 
plus n squared. And this over here, this will be 0 equals 25 plus this is 10n plus n squared minus 5n. So from here, 10n minus 5n, that is 5n, so I have 0 equals 25 plus 5n plus n squared. So let's rearrange this equation totally. Now I'm going to have n squared plus 5n plus 25 equals 0. So let's solve this for every value of n. So we are going to solve this using the formula method. We have n equals negative 8 plus omega squared of e squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. So we have a equals 1, which is the equation of n squared. B equals 5, which is this 5 here. C equals 25, which is a 25 here. So from here, we have n equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 divided by 2 times 1. From here, I have n equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of this is 25 minus 100 divided by 2. So from here, I'll have n equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of negative 75 divided by 2. So from here, I'll have n equals negative 5 plus or minus, minus 8 square root of negative 1 times square root of 75 divided by 2. So from here, I'll have n equals negative 5 plus or minus this is i, I have i times, this is 25 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, I'll have n equals negative 5 plus or minus i times, this is square root of 25 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have n equal to this is negative 5 plus i times. This is 5 times square root of 3. And this is divided by 2. So I can factor out 5 over 2 from here. Of 5 over 2 of negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. Now we have two complete values for n. I have n2 equals 5 divided by 2 of negative 1 plus i root 3. We also have n3 equals 5 over 2 of negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values for n. And we have one real value for n, which is n equals 5. So if you want to check, you can just insert that particular value back here. You will discover that the both sides are going to be the same because our n is 5 from the real value. This will be 5 power 3 over 2 equals 5 power 3 over 2. This side and this side are now the same. So guys, is it? Goodbye.